Okay. Wow. All right, I've waited the obligatory few seconds here, and uh, today is still the 23rd of April, 2020. I'm Roy Platter. Welcome as you come in. You know, uh, it was on this date that I was commissioned as a military officer, April 23rd. Isn't that interesting? Well, look, ladies and gentlemen, I've been following a lot of things here today. And as you can tell from the title of this live stream, I'm getting very concerned about what we're seeing. I've been watching some of the posts on Twitter and on YouTube, and I'm considering how the numbers of the tests are coming back that a lot of people that have uh, these tests are coming back positive. They could be false positives or they're using the explanation that a lot of these people have already been exposed to the coronavirus, to the Wuhan virus and have recovered and have the antibodies. And you notice that there's all of this push to have more and more testing and that we're going to have vaccines in the future, whether you like them or not, mandatory vaccines to go to work, to go to school, to travel and all of that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting worried here. I have no proof of this, but I remembered back when I was young, I remember my first polio vaccination that I recall was in fact an injection in my buttocks. I remember it because it hurt like hell. But after that, they gave us the sugar cubes. In other words, the vaccine was in the sugar cube, and you ate it. We've come a long way technologically in the medical field. And I'm now concerned that these test kits are actually delivering the vaccine nano into your nose or your mouth, however they're swabbing you out. They're not just taking your, your cells, your DNA, testing your saliva, testing your susceptibility or exposure to the virus. What if they're actually not just delivering the virus to you, like they've done in some of the contaminated test kits that we've seen not only overseas, but here in this country, but what if, like the sugar cube vaccine, they're actually delivering a vaccine to you. Remember, Bill Gates said that they were going to put it in mosquitoes. They were going to put it in the water supply. They were going to put it, remember all of this? I'm starting, they're not just infected tests. I think that they're distributing the vaccine. I think it's a real possibility that they are now vaccinating people under the pretense that these are mere tests for the virus. I think they're giving us the vaccine already. I'm going to get in trouble for this one. But I think that's what's happening. I think that's why they're pushing this testing. They want, they want widespread testing. They're pushing that as hard as they are the vaccine, which they still are putting down the road. What if this is a deflection? What if this is the change? You know, it's it's a it's kind of a, a bait and switch. It's kind of a, a I don't even know what to call it at this point. Yeah, it's not just the vi Liza Jean. I don't. I am now. Remember, I'm talking about the sugar cubes giving you the vaccine back in the 50s and early 60s. I'm now thinking that they're not just in, infecting people with the virus. They are actually vaccinating people. And of course, then you'd show positive for the antibodies because that's what the vaccine does, right? Right? I think we've been had. Don't take the test. <laughs> Don't take the test. I think it's that far down the road. Yes, nanotech, nanotest. They're delivering the vaccine through the test into your nasal passages or your, or your saliva. Okay, that's all I've got for you. Please pass this around. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to, to 
copied the it's late i'm really tired i've been working hard all day <laughs> okay i'll give you 30 seconds to copy the link so that you'll have it because you know it takes youtube forever to get these up all right and if somebody would post it to twitter right away please those who have twitter so i can get it off to off twitter and repost it myself because i can't go into my they won't let me into my uh my program here they won't let me onto my youtube program to get this off of it they they keep it processing for too long so if somebody wouldn't mind taking it posting it to youtube and send it to me in a message i'd so much appreciate it okay i think they're already vaccinating us ladies and gentlemen i think it's already being done i think it's already being done through the test kits all right that's all i got for you uh, i'll talk to you later thanks a lot out here I'll give you the 30 seconds still. <laughs> I'm holding my phone just with my hand, so I'm shaking a little bit. I'm sorry. You can see my heart beating. I'm pretty upset about this because it just dawned on me just a few minutes ago. All right. I'm out here, folks. God bless you. Be safe, okay? <laughs> I don't mean that in a virus sort of way. Out here.